Hello Zebraherd and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And today we are going to be moving on with some side quests. I really enjoyed the side quests in this game, so I wanted to continue with them. We, we sort of started completing some more of them last episode by getting everything done in our house. Our house is fully 100% complete now. The next thing on my list of side quests, if we take a look, is a shady customer, which is a mercenary named Haas at East Akala Stable, asked you to investigate a suspicious character. Whoever it is apparently runs a business that he calls Fang and Bone. If you find something fitting that description, get an image of him to show to Haas. Now here's the sort of the unfortunate thing, is that I've actually found that area in the Fang and Bone. Um, that was, Somewhere up this way, yeah, he was right here, but we found him, talked to him, and he left. So I don't like looking up too much stuff. I wanna find out how to do it on my own, but I did read that you can find him on the outskirts of certain towns. Now, I don't know if that's one town at a time or if he's more like that merchant that's usually at, um, you know, the horse stables, where he'll be at whatever stable you're at. So I'm gonna sort of poke around. Oh no, these ladies are getting beat up. This happens every time, so weird. Come on, let's help you out. There we go. Uh, I'm running low on arrows, that's something else we'll have to do. But I'll probably, ow, dude. I'll probably run from uh, town to town trying to find maybe one of the, uh, or just trying to find Haas, and then I gotta take a photo of him to bring to the one dude, which might be a bit difficult, we'll have to wait and see. Um, For now, oh yeah, not happening. Can I? Yeah, I wanna do that and actually, I never do this, so this is what I wanna try. I don't know how much damage it is. Oh, fairy, thank you. <laughs> I'll take it, oh, uh, hold on, I'm not trying to be a lumberjack right now. Gotcha. And then where are you going? Where are you? This is really nice to have. I mean, it uses up a, probably a lot of the Master Sword's energy, so I do have to be a little bit careful. Watch out. Oh, come on. Luckily, Daruk is really helping me out right now. There we go, we got him. So what are you gonna drop? Not anything too crazy, but we saved the one lady. Where is the other one? She was just being chased, chased by a red Boca Blend, so we should be able to stop this guy pretty quick. Leave her alone. There you go, thank you. Okay, so there's that done. Oh, there's another guy over this way, hold on. Uh, yeah. Oh, there's another purple and white guy, that's not good. Hold on, don't swing that at me. You swung that at me, there we go. So we, we broke that sword, we can just move on to the next one. And then, probably shouldn't have done this. There we go, but I did it, I'm wasting arrows. That's okay, our broadsword is badly damaged, so just have the row, oh my gosh, I wasted it. Come on, that's silly. That was really silly of me. Did we get him? We got him, but now he has another friend. Can you guys get out of here? Why is there, why are there's more down that way? Why are there so many of them? It's insane. Let me go ahead and get like this. Uh, pick up whatever you got. There's another one. There's so many of these guys outside of the town. All right, yeah, the edge of do uh, and there's another blue guy back that way. Okay, hit you so you're just not in my way anymore. We got a broom. I'm gonna go ahead and pick this thing up. And then I'm gonna toss it at your face. It's not gonna do any damage but at least it makes you fall over, and then I can go ahead and toss that at you, which broke it, and then hit you with the double. No, now it's badly damaged. All my weapons are breaking right now. They're really bad. Come on, ready? Don't you dare. Dude, why do you hit so hard with the little club? That's not cool. Let me go ahead and eat some stuff up then. Whatever I might got. Uh, I mean, I don't wanna waste too much of this food. There we go. Uh, there we go. There we go, okay, whoa, get out of here. Come on, come on, ready? There we go, so I already wasted that fairy. I was trying to jump over it. Game wasn't being too helpful there. Fine then, let's just start jabbing him. Like whatever I need to do to get rid of these guys. Like there's so many of them apparently. This is the third purple and white dude we've taken out. How good is this uh weapon? Oh really, it's bad, jeez. Oh, we dropped the diamond though, that's pretty good. So, you see this dude over here? That was pretty good. <laughs> I wanna go ahead and steal his weapon if I can. And that is a wooden mop, which I'm gonna toss at him. And then what can we, like, what else can we use? We can use this, because that isn't too damaging. Okay, well I wasted a lot of weapons, I'll have to get more over time, but we, we cleared out this entire forest. See, I need to find out where Haas can be. I don't know if it's supposed to be specific times or anything, and that's all I'm going to look up. I don't wanna look up like what more we need to do for the quest. I mean, this quest is pretty simple, but if it's something where it's like literally, I can save myself like an hour of searching, then I'll do that, but I don't wanna like look up a walkthrough for every single quest. I wanna be able to explore what I can when it's not ridiculous. Okay, so I read that he's gonna be somewhere over this way. Oh, do I see him? No, no, that's a scarecrow. <laughs> okay, I don't know if he'll be here or if it's just that he can be here. So maybe if we just hang out this way, I already put a little marker there. 
Um, so we'll find out. And if he's not, I saw a little area where we might be able to get a Korok Seed, and then beyond that, it looks like there's a sign. Maybe he'll show up at some point, so we should maybe just set up a fire and just nap here. Yeah, there's definitely a sign, what does this say? Fang and Bone only open at night, gotcha. Okay, so, I, you know what, I'll hop down this way actually afterwards, because I don't want to have to climb back up. So what we'll do for now is we'll just camp out a little bit. I should have some flint, I should definitely have some wood. Um, got nine wood, hopefully we have some kind of flint. Where would the rocks be, right here, there you go. So drop it, and then slice, and then wait until night. And he should be here, which will be great. See, this will be one of the side quests. And I saw, like, I, I found, like, an official list of side quests, and I've gone through them in order. This is the first one we we have that we've actually, like, we haven't, uh, only open at night. Well, then where is the dude? Huh. Maybe I have to, like, spawn back in from, like, over this way or something? Maybe because it hasn't had the chance to load in? Weird. I mean, I might still not be here. I'm not sure. We'll just try to reload and find out. I mean, if not, I just have to wait maybe a couple days, a couple nights, or several days and several nights until he finally showed up. I don't know. <laughs> it's my best bet though, right? So we'll try it. We'll see what ends up happening. Come on now. What do we got? Latino Village, Ancient Tech Lab. I know, I know. I'm actually, instead of the little sword here, I'm gonna go ahead and put a full-on marker so I don't have to keep checking like that because the markers you don't see from outside of the uh, mini mouse boundary. So now that I've set up the red thing, that should be better. I sure hope he's there this time. I can see the spot he's supposed to be. Is it not quite nighttime yet? It's 9.30, you would think it would be nighttime enough, but maybe not. Hmm. Okay, oh yeah, there he is, there he is, yeah, it's working this time. I don't know if I did the right thing or not. Maybe he was just showing up. Cause it looks like a hot air balloon. I guess he just flies on down. That reminds me of Lego worlds. <laughs> okay, come on, come on, come on. We gotta go and check him out. We gotta take a photo of him and see if he'll sell us anything cause I don't think he sold us anything last time. Like he was just like, I'm out of here. The first thing we gotta do is take a photo of him. Cause that's for the, the quest. So if I just go like, uh, this. I can go up to him and uh, hey there, buddy. Oh, here we go, Kilton. I thought, oh yeah, his name's not Haas. The person we're trying to send the photo to is Haas. Hey. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, it's just you. You startled me. My monster shop is now open for business. Seeing as you're a first time customer, here at Fang and Bone, our first order of business will be converting your monster parts to Mon. What is Mon? Mon is a currency I invented to destabilize the market and fight the establishment. Just kidding, there is no establishment in Hyrule. I just love monsters so much that I turn them into a money. Here's the deal, if you bring me monster parts, I'll exchange them for Mon. I'm the only business in Hyrule that accepts Mon as payment. Pretty exclusive, huh? Anyway, I'll be, uh, I'll be, uh, I, I mean, you can, I don't know where I read I'll. Uh, you can spend your Mon on various types of monster gear that I've created based on my research. Ah, another thing. I'm always developing a new uh, new monster gear, so remember to check back in between your adventures. So let's exchange the monster parts you have for Mon. Monster parts? Monster parts are the things that monsters drop when they expire. You know, horns, fangs, eyes, the color and size may differ a bit, but they're all monster parts. The more rare they are, the more Mon they're worth. So let's exchange monster parts you have for Mon. Exchange for Mon. Oh, thank you very much. So now, what will you exchange for Mon? So if we take a look at our inventory, we do have a couple things. Now I don't wanna exchange anything that's gonna be like hard to get, like Ferocious Claw, um, or even crazier stuff like the Lionel Hoofs, which I actually don't even sell for all that much. I'm better off Bokoblin Horns. I probably don't need 300 of them. I could probably do away with 100 of them and have 300 Mon. Um, I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but we're about to find out, because I mean, I know you can use them for upgrades, but I don't think we've ever been in a situation where we need 100 of them, of them for one upgrade. So we'll try this, we'll be left with an even 200. It'll be 315 Mon, and then maybe we can do something similar with the Fangs, which uh, sell for what, five each? Yeah, so we could sell 75 of these, and uh, that would be a lot of cash as well. So, uh, 75. Oh, got it. Okay, so, so 375 Mon, 
Not bad. Okay, so, uh, we could even try the Mob One Fangs. I don't know if I wanna sell this stuff as much. Ooh, these sell for eight, and we have 331 of them. So we could definitely do away with like 81. That way we're left with what? We're left with 250. I think that's a pretty good number. So we'll try that out. Cause you know, this is just from us fighting opponents all the time. I don't even know if like we need ever this much mon. We're gonna find out though, cause that's, six, there's, uh, that's 648 additional and over 1,300 now in total. So very cool stuff. And there's some other stuff of course that might sell for different amounts like keys. Uh, some of the stuff I'd expect to sell for more doesn't. Like obviously like a giant engine core sells for 100, but that's really not too much considering. Um, I'm definitely not gonna give them any of that. I'm gonna stick to the stuff I have like troves of, so we're gonna keep it with that. I wanna see what he says. Thank you for converting your monster parts into Mon. Now then, how can Fang and Bone meet you today? Spend some Mon. <laughs> Da da da! I've done it! I've developed an unprecedented piece of monster gear. I can't believe I was able to pull this off. I'm actually a bit terrified of myself right now. <clears throat> I present to you the ultimate in monster camouflage. I call it the Dark Series. Wear this and you'll become a monster yourself. I hope you like being hunted for your organs. Or you could just, you know, think of it as a costume. Oh yes, and when night falls, you might be able to move a little bit faster. Not sure how it turned out that way, but I'm not complaining. <laughs> Your current bounce is 1,338 mon. What monster gear would you like to buy? So we have Monster Elixir, which we already have one of, um, a result of Kilton's research into monsters. This suspicious spice can be used to punch up dishes while cooking. Apparently it can be used to make a number of monstrous meals. Then we have a wooden mop. <laughs> Just a mop to the untrained eye. It excels at tending at the place, but it owes its sturdy construction to craftsmanship, so we don't need that. A uh, spring-loaded hammer for almost 200 mon. Spring-loaded hammer. This strange hammer is one of Kilton's specialties. Being struck by it doesn't hurt much, but the fourth swing in a string of attacks will send the victim flying. Very curious about that. Oh, look at this! Bokoblin mask. Kilton's handmade Bokoblin headgear. It's almost charming in a cute, monstrous kind of way. Equip it to blend in with Bokoblins. Oh wow, I see, so the Bokoblin mask, I'll give you the special price of 99 mon. That's so cool, I wanna wear all of these. <laughs> now we have the Moblin mask, Kiln's handmade Moblin headgear. It's designed to replicate the Moblin's distinct long nose and large horn. Equip it to blend in with Moblins. That is just so cool. All right, we'll go ahead and get that for 199. And then we have a Lizalfo's mask. No, 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 I already have, and you know what's good, whoa, hold on. We have a Lionel mask? Okay, there's some crazy stuff here. Whoa, dark hood, dark tunic. We got some work to do. But yeah, this is cool because we have indefinite inventory space for gear. Lizalfo's mask. Killen's handmade Lizalfo's headgear. It's designed to replicate the unique tongue and horn of the Lizalfo's. Equip it to blend in with Lizalfo's. Very cool, that'll be 299 mon. I'll take it. We are definitely gonna save up and come back. Because if we can get the Lionel mask, which will be Kilton's handmade Lionel headgear, it's so well crafted it can deceive a real Lionel, equip it to blend in with Lionels, but don't linger too long. Those beasts are smart. And then we have Monster Bridle, uh, Monster Saddle, Dark Hood, Dark Tunic. Um, I don't know what these do. With a monster born from the shadows of mine, the eyes glow an eerie red in dark. So we are definitely gonna buy these at some point, but in total, this is what, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 mon. So we got a lot of work ahead of us, and then like 5,000, and then 5,400, and then 5,700. So if we can get 6,000 more mon, or I guess, uh, I guess at this point, uh, I guess 5,000 more, because we, we need 5,700 in total, we already have 700, so if we could get 5,000 more Mon, things would be crazy good. Now I do have the materials for that, but I do want to save some of it, of course, for uh, gear upgrades and stuff, so that is so cool, but we did get your photo, so we can actually go and bring that to Haas, or whatever his name is. We can take a look at the adventure log, log and it's a shady customer. Um, a mercenary named Haas at East of Calis Table asked you to investigate a suspicious character. Whoever it is apparently runs a business to Fang and Bone, so we should just go to Haas, which is going to be at an East Akala stable, so over this way. Let's go ahead and check it out. I am super excited. Okay, so let's go ahead and cash in our picture. I think it worked just fine, but we know how to find him a bit more easily now, which is great. So I'm looking for Haas. He might not be here until the day, so we might just wanna go ahead and sleep. <laughs> that might be good. Oh, no, he's right here. No issues to report. Raining into the night, it seems. Hmm? You've got information about Kilton. Allow me to take a look. Here you go. Yep, that's him. 
<laughs> I see. How strange. Seriously, I can't thank you enough. This will surely help me hunt him down. Really, I must thank you somehow. Oh, nice, 100 rupees. Well, I must return to my mission now. Farewell. So there we go, there's another quest done. A shady, a shady customer complete. Hello. Who are you again? Hey. Hello! Welcome to East Cal, stay of the Premier Stable of the East. By the way, good sir, the outside is crunchy while the inside is chewy. Take one bit. A bite, and your energy will go through the roof. Go on, try one of our Akala buns. Okay, uh, no thank you. So I gotta see what the next quest is in the official list of side quests and start tackling that one. So the next one is Little Sister's Big Request. Jada want to give her insect-loving little sister, Gleema, a birthday gift. But no matter how many times Jana asks, Gleema, Gleema won't tell her what kind of bug she wants. You should talk to Gleema for the full story. So let's go ahead and activate that one. That's Isakala Stable? That's not too far off from here, so let's just go ahead and figure this out. I feel like there's a similar quest in in the Rito area with the birds. I, I don't know though, maybe it's a little bit different. But yeah, we'll just try to figure out this whole bug situation and sort of see how things go. <laughs> I mean, things are going pretty well. I mean, we got one side quest done today. That's something, it, it's progress in the correct direction. So hopefully we can keep with that and things will go well. That's our best hope. Just gotta wait for the loading screens. There's so many loading screens. Zekasho Shrine. And uh, where are they at? So I'm supposed to talk to who exactly again? If I take a look, it is Gleema that I'm talking to about a bug. So let's find out what bug she wants. And once I figure that out, what are you doing? This is hopeless. Do you have any ore? If so, it's best to sell it at the shop. You can sell the rare ones for a high price. All right, see ya. Uh, oh, what was this? Oh, no, it's a lady. I thought it was something I could pick up. Hey, if you're looking for a place to crash, you can stay here. Need me for something? Oh, yeah, your sister, so you're Janna. Um, actually, I'll, I'll catch up with this, because I'm a little unsure about this quest. Uh, your sister. My little sister, Gleema, is probably asleep right now, but I wonder what kind of insect Gleema wants to see. When she wakes up, will you ask her? Uh, sure. So she wants an insect for some reason. Is this Gleema? So sleepy, so I have to wait until the morning. So, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and buy a bed. Welcome! Will you be staying with us? Regular bed will cost 20 rupees. Let's do the uh, soft bed, sleep until morning, just because that way I can get our full health back, because I sorta kinda need that too. And I gotta equip the the, the Bokoblin mask at some point. I wonder if people will still talk to me or they think will we'll think I'm a Bokoblin. I wanna find out. I will even get a little extra heart. Hope you enjoyed your stay. All right, so where's Gleema at? She is... Still sleeping. Come on, wake up, early bird. Uh, but yeah, in the meantime, if we wanted to, let's go ahead and check out our new gear. We have the Bokoblin mask. And can I like talk to people still? Oh, thanks for coming to see me. Yeah, okay, I can. <laughs> ah, you appear to have a bladed rhino beetle. Beetles love bladed, or beetle loves bladed rhino beetles. Could you consider giving it to me? You'd get something in turn, of course. How about I give you this mighty elixir? I think sorry, but no. All right, well, anyway, back to business. Uh, I don't know. So I just have to wait for her to wake up. I don't know when that's gonna be. Oh, I like this little stance we take because we're, we're dressed up as a Pokemon. It is really pouring out here. We're getting soaked. It doesn't seem to be a problem. We also have the Moblin mask. Yeah, now we have like this like husky look to ourselves. Oh, I love that. And then finally the Lozalfos is the last one we have. And this one's a little bit more sneaky, has a little bit more of a twitch to it. I like that. Very cool. So we'll have to wear these a lot. I mean, of course, they don't give us too much protection. Well, it says nine to nine, even though it says three? Weird, I don't know. When is she gonna wake up? <laughs> so in the meantime, while we're waiting for her, I could also take a look at the other side quests I still have to do. Oh, once again, I'm not trying to find really how to do them. I'm not looking just like walkthroughs of how to do them. More as I am just trying to look for the ones I haven't done, the ones I have done, and just sort of do what I need to do. So that is, the well, one we're currently doing is Little Sister's Big Request. The next one's Hylian Homo Homeowner, which we've completed. And then we have um, this, the Statue's Bargain. Um, exchange heart containers and stamina vessels. That's, oh no, that's the reward. Uh, the Statue's Bargain, is that one we've done? Um, if we take a look, I don't wanna spend too much time in here because then the time won't go by. Uh, the statue's bargain. I don't see it here or there. Hylian homeowner, a gift from my beloved. And it's not up this way. 
So yeah, that's one we can find. That one's located in Hatino Village. So we can actually go back to our house and try to find that one. Um, See, so yeah, that one'll be good. That's what we'll tackle off this. Whenever this little youngster wakes up, I get it. I mean, you gotta, you gotta sleep. It helps you grow. But come on now, boy. Well, it's. I mean, I guess it is 6:30 in the morning. I can't be too picky. I didn't realize it was that early. Uh, so we could try to go out and try to find some like Bulkablins in the meantime, or some kind of enemy at all. It'd be fun. Or just really anything, absolutely anything. <laughs> just do something. Like it's like somebody walks up and says, so what are you doing this fine morning? I'm waiting for like a seven year old to get up to talk to her about a bug. I think they look at us funny, because we are doing something funny. Uh, what's over this way? Oh, is that a little hog? That is. Gotcha. All right. Oh, oh was that not enough? I feel bad going for you then, but I'll go for you. What is this? Oh, a tree branch that I didn't need. Oh, raw, three raw prime meats is really good. That's like 300 rupees right there. Beautiful. What about this lady? Is this the older sister? I don't think so. It might be though. No, it's uh, Kaifa. What depressing weather we're having on, on, and so early in the day. Ah, you're a customer, right? Yep. Okay, good. Lately, a suspicious person, person named Kilton has been showing up in various regions across the land. They say he is the owner of something called the Fang and Bone. It only appears at night, or so they say. It seems that the Isakala stable up north is hiring soldiers for protection because of the rumors about Kilton. Be careful out there. Up north, you mean the one that we were already to? Okay, so yeah, we already got a picture of him. We don't have to worry about that too much. So it's 7.30 almost now. I think this kid is still sleeping. At this point, I'm like tempted just to sleep again myself. It would only be like 20 rupees. It would save me some real life time, which would be great. Uh, so hey, can I talk to you? Hi. Welcome. Yes, I'll be staying with you. Just a regular bed until noon. Should have done that already, I guess. <laughs> that was my mistake. All right. So what are we gonna get done with this one? Let's find out together. Uh. I hope you enjoyed your stay, have a good day. Is she up? She is, yeah, okay. And it's still raining like crazy. So let's talk about bugs. Why are you sitting around in the ridiculous rain? La 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 la. Hey mister, what's up? Hey, guess what? I have a secret. Wanna know what it is? Tell me. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna tell you. Ready, here it comes. My big sister Jana hates dragonflies. Dragonflies? Yeah. I once saw a picture of a warm darner and a cold darner and an electric darner in a book. But when I showed them to Jana, she said that their eyes were creepy and got mad. Oh, that was a secret, wasn't it? Jana's gonna be mad at me again. But I think that's because the pictures were all close and stuff. I bet real ones are super cute. When I grow up, I wanna travel the world and meet someone, some, some real dragonflies. Little sister's big request. Gleema told you that she loves dragonflies above all other insects, but Jana can't stand the sight of them. You know, you now understand why Gleema can't tell her what her sister wants. You'll have to tell Jana so that the two of you can decide what to do. All right, so let's go ahead and talk to Jana, who's sitting on the other side of the street. Hey, unfortunate weather we're having. Gleema. I look like such a dingus as I'm talking about all this in my little mask. No, no way, of all things, she wants to see a gross dragonfly, a warm darner, a cold darner, and an electric darner, three different types? Ugh, anything but dragonflies. Just thinking about their eyes makes me feel sick. I see, so Gleema knows that I despise dragonflies, and that's why she shouldn't. She wouldn't tell me how much she loves them. Well, this is her birthday wish, so I, I, I didn't have a choice. Bring me a warm darner, cold darner, and an electric darner, please. I want to surprise Gleema, so don't tell her about this. All right, so, so, it's you. Bring me a warm darner, cold darner, and electric darner, please. Do I not have them? Oh boy, let's take a look at our inventory. Organize everything. Take a look at the bug section. So I do have warm darners, but darn, I don't have cold or electric. So we'll have to try to find those. Uh, wherever they may be. <laughs> That might be something I look up, is where I can find them. Because, I don't know, that seems like such a pain in the booty. I mean, do I have pictures on them? Most likely, no. So, I mean, I could just try to run around in some cold areas and just sort of work from there. That might be a good idea. This is why I've been trying to get better at just collecting everything I see. Uh, because stuff like this happens, and then it's like, oh, darn. <laughs> get it? Darners, darn, again. Made the same joke twice. Okay, so we'll try this out. One thing, I have the Bokoblin thing, so I really want to try this out a little bit. No, I'm one of you. See, it's it's me, your friend. See? 
I am your friend. How is it going? This is working. How cool is this? <laughs> now I do need to beat these guys up still. Oh gosh, I chose a bad time for that now, didn't I? I wonder if they would have helped me if I got attacked by something that wasn't a Pokemon. He's like, hey, why is my own friend beating me up? I don't like it. There we go. So I gotta deal with uh, this guy now because I wanna get as many monster parts as possible, of course. Okay, where are you gonna show up next? Right there. Boom, I got you, good! Nice, okay, just got him. Okay, he's good. And he still doesn't care. It's beautiful, I'm out of arrows entirely now, so I gotta be careful, but no, Lizalfos, he doesn't care. He sees through my disguise, but he's an ice Lizalfos, so I should be able to run around and hit him like that. Instantly just turn to the dust. He's like, hey, what are you doing? Hold on. Oh no, I'm sorry, Horace, I didn't mean to do that, I'm awful. Oh, I deserve awful things now. Okay, you know what? Branch. And then I'm gonna snag that from you. No, you still haven't dropped it. Man, you have some good grip going on there. Our edge duality is badly damaged, so I might just toss it at you. Boom, that got you good. Now I got a Dragon Bone Moblin Club. Very nice. Uh, grab some of those, and then we got like a couple truffles over here. Big hearty truffles just waiting for us. So where is this guy at? I'm gonna go ahead and hit him with the uh, flame spear as well. You see me, buddy? Oh, I missed, but so did you. There we go. You dropped some good stuff, and you also dropped the Knight's Claymore, which has 38 damage, okay. Could be better, could be worse. All right, so I'm not finding any darners, but I did look to the side here, and it looks like that there are certain shops you can go to for Beetle, of course, or different stables. And depending on the stable you're at, will determine which ones he'll sell things to. So I might as well go ahead and try that out a little bit. Looks like we have the Woodland Stable somewhere. I'll just have to sort of look at each one. The Woodland and the Karakara Bazaar. So I know what the Karakara Bazaar is. That is this. So if we can, yeah, if we, we could just get here and do that one, that would be a pretty good start. All right, so here we are at the Karakara Bazaar. So one of these shops should sell a cold darner. Oh, I guess Beetle will who's right out here. So let's talk to him and see if we can't get it from him. That'd be perfect. Hey there, dude. Oh, he seems very exhausted. <laughs> Not too surprised. So you do want to give me that, that beetle thing. Um, I don't know, should I? It's a deal? Okay, well I got a mighty elixir. Hopefully that was my only one. Grants a low level might effect, which strengthens your body. I don't know if this thing's Yahoo, Beetle is so excited, you're such a sweetheart. I'll add this bad boy to my beetle collection. Yay, anyway, back to business. Uh, what are you looking for, are you selling? Uh, what have you got? I'm sure I have something you'll find it helpful. So, uh, yeah, I guess we'll buy arrows just because it's good just to have more. Was that all you had was just one set of 10? And then we have, I have four of these. So if I could just have a couple more, that'd be great. I mean, they're like, okay, if I have four of them, then maybe I'm fine. Uh, I don't have any cold darners though. So if I could just buy all of them, I just want to take all of them. So there we go, that'll be 50 rupees, I don't care. And then we don't have any tireless frogs. So let's change that, we'll just take all three of them. I know it's really expensive, but if we run into these quests where we need them, it's good to have them, you know? You know, continue to try to get them myself. But there is the cold darner gotten. So now we just need an electric darner, which we can find somewhere else. So I'm gonna try to find that one. That one we can find from Beetle at the Grudo Canyon Stable, the Rito Stable, the Serene Stable, and the Snowfield Stable. So let's just find out which, whatever one's closest. Grudo Canyon Stable would be what? I would think would be around here, but maybe not. Have we not found that stable before? Maybe not, because where else would a Grudo Canyon want to be this this way out, you know? Um, well, if we can't find that one, Rito Stable is gonna be somewhere around here, Rito Stable. We'll go for this one, we'll see what we can find. So there's the stable, we must go and get it. Hopefully we will do an okay job at that. But that's why I just need to probably almost always equip one thing our sneaky gear whenever like, the environment permits it, which actually I guess right now it does not, so back with the gear I already had on. Um, but that will help me a ton for finding stuff because the things that I walk by don't even notice me, which is great. So I can just pick them up as I go along. And this is sort of gonna be my main focus. Uh, but as we get farther down this way, oh, can I grab one of these? No, not quite. <laughs> I need to re-equip this because they just fly away way too quickly. It's sort of a problem. I mean, the temperature is fine around here. So if you do see some dragonflies like this, some of them just sort of disappear. But I, like, I could have just gone here and gotten a cold darner. Didn't have to go all the way out to where I did. But I didn't know they were here, you know? It's just lucky slash unluckiness. 
So just make sure whenever there's bugs and also, you know, when I can, you know, if I have something like a 36 damage, I don't mind swinging around a little bit. Every time I go buy some stuff and like I slice it, bugs usually pop out or at least occasionally do. So like that's the sort of stuff I need to stay in practice with. It's obviously not always easy to keep in mind, but uh, still good too. All right, so here we are at the Rito stable. I need to find Beetle then. Uh, oh no, low battery, that's bad. Even then I should still last a while, I think. Got that one, that's, there's just a bunch of cold darlers around here. I could've just gone to this place. And I've gotten like two two things done. I mean, if Beetle's around, that is, which he should be. Well, now I'm at least getting a lot of them so that hopefully I don't run into the situation again, which is sort of the big goal, right? Okay, that's not getting me anything. Where is uh, Beetle? Is he gonna be inside? He's not. Where's this dude at? Maybe the first time I'm like out of stable and he's not. I have no clue where he is. Maybe he's over on this side? Nothing. Here, grab that one. Where is this guy? I've never been to a stable and he's just not been there before, so I might have missed him. I, I might have just like walked right past him. Oh, free wood. Grab that, thank you. Oh no, I missed one. Just steal whatever I can while I'm here. Oh, look at the elk. Beautiful nature. But yeah, where is he? Maybe he's still just walking around. I totally missed him, but I just gotta keep looking. I don't see him anywhere, so maybe I just missed him. I, I just looped around. Maybe he actually does just show up at certain times. <laughs> I was not aware of that. So this is, you know, sleep till noon, then we'll wake up and it'll be the middle of the day, so that might help. Let's find out. Oh, there he is, yeah, okay. Hey, buddy, I need to buy some electric darners from you. Whoa, you made it all the way here. You're almost as crazy as Beetle. What are you looking for or are you selling? What have you got? Okay, so let's take a look. You have the Sunset Firefly. No, way! you sell Warm Darner. Did I misread that? Maybe I did. Uh, <laughs> I'm really gonna waste my time today. Okay, for real now. We're gonna go to this guy. Oh, this is such a nice stable. I don't know why I like this one so much. It's just by the river. It looks really cool. There's like little uh, bridges to the other parts of the farm. It just looks cool. Uh, we just need to talk to you and you should have electric saflinas. Not saflinas, no. <laughs> electric darners. Jeez. What have you got? Um, yeah, okay, I don't have any, so I'm gonna go ahead and buy all that what you have. Um, that'd be 30 rupees, yep. And then what about this Thunderwing butterfly? I do have a couple of those, so I don't have to worry about that. Very nice to know, so we have everything for the sister now and then some, so if we run into a situation where somebody else needs it, we'll be good to go. So yeah, we're making some okay progress. I didn't think it'd take a full episode to do, so far, only two side quests. Anything else around here that I can snag? Doesn't look like it, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it like that. Um. And yeah, we'll just head out back to where the side quest is, which I should still have chosen. So back to this shrine, or yeah, back to the shrine and then back to that stable and then get this quest done and move on to the next one. The next one is going to be, like I said, one that we haven't even found yet. It was the legend of something, right? Maybe it wasn't. What was it? It was the statue's bark. I don't know where I read the, the, I mean, I know the game is called The Legend of Zelda. I don't know why I thought it was like the legend of the statue. I don't know. We gotta go to Hitino Village, which shouldn't be too bad. That's where our house is, so we'll be at home and try to find some kind of statue or something. I just need to find out how to get this quest started and that'll make it a lot easier. So uh, yeah, let's get to this. First off, we gotta talk to, uh, was it Jana, Lana, something like that? I'm almost there. And then I think we'll be good. South of Kala Stable, hello. Hey, but enough about that. Wait, hey, but enough about that, what? Have you secured a warm darner, cold darner, and electric darner? Oh, right, in that case, may I have them? Ew, well, I can't do this. Please, give them to her, just give them to Gleema yourself. All right, well, this is just big request. What does it say now? Unsurprisingly, Janet couldn't help, or couldn't bring herself to take the dragonflies from you. Uh, gl give Gleam of the Warm Donor, Cold Donor, and Electric Donor yourself. Sure. Hello. Oh, what's gonna happen? Is, is, I hope she's happy with these. Yeah. Oh, hi, mister. What? These are for you. Here you go. Really? What is it? What is it? Ooh. Wow, real life dragonflies. These Are these really for me? Yeah. Hey, big sis, looky, looky. It's a real life Warm Donor, and a Cold Donor, and an Electric Donor, too. I'll bring him over so you can see. Oh boy. Ah. Hey, cut it out! Oh boy. <laughs> this is disastrous. Ah! 
Oh boy. So what's happening now? Is it complete or no? Update. You gave Gleam of the Warm Donor a cold donor an electric donor. In our excitement, she forgot herself and rushed to show Jana. Can Jana's nerves take the strain? Hmm. Ah. Hey, I've managed to calm down somehow. Now then, I must thank you for catching those dragonflies. Here, take this. Nice, 100 rupees, nothing compared to what we spent, but that's fine. Uh, I'm fine with most insects. The only ones I simply can't stand are dragonflies. When I think about them looking at me with those evil eyes, ugh. All right, well, I'm glad I could help. <sighs> that was rough. Okay, I need to take a deep breath. All right, well, there you go. Little Sister's big request is complete. And what else do you have to say? Oh, hi, mister. Thanks so much for the dragonflies. My big sister and the sheep are all doing just great. That's good to hear. So we need to go to Hatino Village, which is gonna be over this way, right? Hatino Village. Let's just go here and we'll try to find our next steps for the quest. Apparently, the quest giver is exchange heart container and stamina vessels. Like That's what it says instead of... So I don't know how to start this one. If Once I figured that out, a statue's bargain starts upon entering Hatino Village and encountering a very excited named boy named Tebow. Okay, so... We'll try to find Tebow and figure that out. So I don't really know what the best course of action to find Tebow is. I guess I'll just go out and try to find every kid I can. So who are you? Mm, there. Hey. Oh, hey, look at that, it's Tebow. Hey, mister, what is it, buddy? <laughs> You'll never guess what I found, wanna see? Sure I do. Okay, follow me. All right, so I'm following Tebow around. Did I just scare away some bugs? I might have. Oh, I might have been Tebow's fault. <laughs> just blame Tebow for now. So he's not the fastest of runners, but that's okay. We can keep up, and that's good. So where's Tebow running off to? Uh, oh, down this way. Okay, this is right down by the base of our house, really, where we found like some old uh, weaponry. We have the end of last episode. Oh, here we go. So what's this about? Whoa, okay, this is something. Let's talk to Tebow now. It's this way. Yeah, we found it. Now, uh, here it is, neat, huh? It, it looks kind of like the statue at the chief's house. What do you think it is? What is it? Oh, it looks a little demonic. Ah, so there are some who still pay me homage. You can talk? You don't say, you can hear my voice? Yes. Now that is a surprise. What were you praying for? Long life, wealth, like so many of your kind? Whichever it was, you came to the right place. A dealer in life and power, that was me, once. Alas, my life for money bargains didn't sit well with the goddess Hylia. She trapped me in this stone statue long, long ago. The villagers here called me the horned statue and don't even bother to wipe away the bird droppings. One would think years upon years of such treatment would have made me mend my ways. One would think wrongly. I have only been biding my time for the moment someone who can hear me appears, someone such as you. But I've said enough. Now then, shall we strike a bargain? Th then stay that way. No further action on your part is required. Wait, what? Whoa, whoa! He took one of my spirit or no, he took a heart! What? <laughs> my touch is as subtle as ever. Note how I took that essence from you without leaving a mark. What? The statue's bargain. The, the horned statue in Hatino Village took one of your heart containers. The only thing to do is talk to him and try to convince him to give it back. Um, were you talking to that statue? Well, wow, you talk to statues weird. Okay, see you. Is he gonna leave? Yeah, I guess so. What's wrong then? Have your prayers gone unanswered? Give it back. Ha <laughs> ha, did you think I'd deceive you? Perish the thought, I hope that ours will be a long and profitable relationship. So which will it be? As I may have mentioned once or twice, I'm a dealer in life and power. I can provide a valuable service to you. I take heart containers or stamina vessels from you, and then for a price, return whichever of the two you like. So I guess, I think there is a limit on how many heart containers and stamina vessels you can have. So like if you get max hearts, you can't get max stamina. So I guess that's the point of this guy. Give me a heart, give me stamina. I would like my heart back. A wise choice, now remain still. This dude is creepy. 
All right, well, we got it back. Yeah, <laughs> it's been returned. You look skeptical. Not to worry. Money and life are still as one to me. Are all as one as to me. If you're ready to begin, then first you must sell me either type either type of essence for 100 rupees. If you want to buy an essence back, the price rises to 120 rupees. So we get we can get money by selling our stuff. Before you cry foul, know that you may choose which one I return to you, a heart container or a stamina vessel. Now I'm eager to help tamper with your essence anytime you want to return or and pray here. So if we wanted to exchange stamina for heart or vice versa, we could do that here. Very interesting. So that's another quest done. Not a crazy one, but still one completed, which is exactly what I wanted. Um, I'm gonna go and double check the quest list. The next thing would be um, a gift for my beloved, which might even be something we completed. Yep, right there, a gift for my beloved. So the next one would be the weapon connoisseur, which is not something we have completed, it seems like. And these aren't, like, uh, I wish you could reorder these to be uh, alphabetical, but it looks like you can't. So definitely not there. So if we go all the way back up to the top, do I have a weapon kind of sword? I do. So a young man named Neb in Hatino Village wants to show you a particular weapon. If you find a traveler sword, bring it to him. Do we currently have a traveler sword? I don't think we do. Um, that's a royal broadsword. So I don't think I currently have a traveler sword. I'd have to find one, which I'm pretty sure we have found some in the past but I don't know where I would get one now, you know? So I'd have to look around. But uh, we could get started on that. I mean, what more are we gonna do? I feel like hey, that's sort of a weapon you'd find earlier in the game, so I might wanna tar start searching, I think, back at the very beginning areas of the game. So um, that would be around here, right? Maybe not? I always forget. Um, no, I guess like this area, no. Where in the world is the starting area to the game? Why am I forgetting this? <laughs> uh, so here we are back at the starting area of the game. Brings back some good memories. I wonder if we can still find the old man. I don't think so. I think after he gives you the glider, I think you just can't find him anymore. Can't remember though. Either way, what I wanna do is I wanna grab apples or just whatever material I can along the way. This will probably be the last thing we do for today is just probably take out some enemies and try to see if we can't find uh, a traveler sword. I don't think that's gonna be too difficult to do. So I already have a wood cutting axe, yes, I don't need that. I might wanna inventory, organize my weapons a little bit. Yeah, that should be good. Okay, so uh, I can grab another one if I just want to have something there, you know? But once we find enemies, we'll take them out and see if they drop traveler swords. They might not, but it's sort of my best bet. Usually the enemies here are pretty easy, so they drop pretty common stuff, and I'm pretty sure traveler swords would be one of them. But I'm not sure. First off, we're just gonna go for this guy. I could even use, you know, that ax I just got. So let's go ahead and grab this and, oh yeah. And it doesn't do too much damage to him. Could even snag this. Actually, my inventory's full. I don't wanna use, you know, too much non-important stuff. So I'll just keep using this until I can find something better. Gotcha. <laughs> All right, this feels old school now. It's been like, I guess over a year since I, you know, first explored this area for the first time. Isn't that crazy? How long this series has gone on? Ooh, ooh, hold on. Let's try to get you. Gotcha, high tail lizard. Nice stuff. Yeah, we got a couple of guys over this way. I still have zero arrows. No, I have 10. Oh yeah, that's right, I did buy 10 from the one dude. Okay, so, uh, you know what? Oh, I haven't taken a picture of these guys? Silver Bokoplan. Okay, so he's silver, that's his name. Cool, what about him? I don't think I've taken a picture of the red one before. There we go, Bokoplan. Did that count? I don't think it did. Delete. Got it, that should count, right? I think so, there you go. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, toss this over. Whoop. And then boom, nice, good explosion there. Got rid of the, the, the weaker one. So we can deal with this dude now, ready? Oh, hold on, set him on fire. There we go, perfect. Move over to the Royal Halberd, just do a bunch of damage to him over and over again. And we're just gonna throw this woodcutter's axe at him. Just knock him back over is really what I'm looking for. Master Sword should be available, so we'll just hit him for the double 30. Whoa, he was trying to get me there. Didn't quite work. I did it. Ow, oh, he almost got me there. Ow, that hurt. Okay, I need to back up a little bit then. Um, because things are gonna get nasty here in a moment if I don't eat. 
Uh, so we should have some kind of health boosting food somewhere, right? There we go, okay. Whoa, oh, I tried to jump from it. Oh, we got Flurry Rush though. Get out of here, you jerk. We got a vocal club, 24 damage. Not that great, but I'll take it. Ooh, nice, tons of materials there. Remember, that's our big goal as well, is to get as much of that as possible so we can get like different gear from uh, the Fang and Bone. So we got like lots of stuff to do now, which is great. Lots of busy work, because that was sort of an issue before is that I was sort of starting to run out of things to do, or at least I didn't know what immediately I should do, so it's great that that's sort of, you know, not as much of an issue right now. And then I'm definitely going to uh, do that and explode some of you dudes. That'll do a lot of damage to a good chunk of you, so grab some arrows. I spent two, I got five, so pretty good. The only guy who survived is the blue one, which I should just be able to beat him up here. Where, where are you going? Yep, get out of here. So these guys don't even drop Traveler Swords. They just drop sort of basic Boko weapons, so. I mean, the only thing that's great about it is that I'm really speedy with it, so we can just get whatever materials we need and just sort of get in and out, and that's good. So I might just continue exploring. I might, I know that in this like outskirt regions out this way, I swear there are some ruins where you can find some Traveler Swords, so maybe we can poke around those areas soon enough. I mean, they're rusty, and I don't know if that'll be a problem. I mean, I know there's a way to unrust them, so if that is an issue, we can do that as well. So we'll have to wait and see. Maybe just giving it our best bet is all we can do. I don't see too many enemies around here. We'll go up here and see if there's any more enemies. If there is, we'll tackle them, and then, oh yeah, these are just guardians, so there isn't too many uh, Boko characters or anything like that. Let's move back this way. Ooh, butterfly. Can I grab you? Thank you, summer swing butterfly, you're mine. This one as well. So you know, we're just gonna jump off and we'll see what we can find on the outskirts. Cause there's all these like different destroyed areas. Ooh, we got that big dude. Which he's just, we haven't seen a red one of these guys in forever. Also, I wanna equip this, where is it? Uh, my gear. I wanna hang out with him for a little bit. The Moblins. Hey there, buddy. I'm just one of you, see? What's up? No, 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 see? I'm your friend. Yeah. I'm small. Why is that every time this happens, one of you show up to ruin my fun? Stop that. Oh gosh, hold on. I gotta beat him up first. Then I'm grabbing this Boko Bat, which has next to no damage, but I'm using it to throw it right at your face. Gotcha. Okay. And then go for this. You know what? If you let me, go for it. Mmm, gotcha. Okay, so keep going at him. We're not done. And we're just gonna damage you down as much as I possibly can right here. Nice, okay, we got him. <laughs> that was nice. Give me those bananas. Did you not drop any rupees? How cheap. Anyways, let's go ahead and make sure we get these two animal pieces, monster pieces, whatever they may be. And keep looking, keep being on the grind for uh, different stuff. I mean, there really isn't too much around here, but I'm really looking for, oh, I guess it's this, outpost ruins. Oh, I'm going the incorrect way. Yeah, they're right here in front of my face. I'm a dingus. Oh, hello. Oh, this is, uh, the, you know, like these slime parts are also monster parts we can sell. So we should probably try that as well. Oh, I do see some guys over there we can take out. They actually look like they had weapons, so I might check them out. And one of them has a woodcutter's ax. They're all having a good time partying. Are you shooting at the wildlife? Leave them alone. They weren't asking for no trouble, but you are, so I'm going for you. Okay, so he didn't drop any arrows? Lame. Looks like his friend just shot one at me, but didn't, oh, oh, here it is, here it is. Give that to me. No, no, no. Here, you know, let's do, let's do a game of a uh, 50 arrow pickup. Where did this one go? <laughs> you had a long shot there. Okay, so you're gonna go for me with that one? You missed. I don't know where I went, though. Gosh darn it, dude. Stop wasting arrows, I need those. Yeah. Okay, so. Yeah, nothing. That's a shame. Like, we have a rusty broadsword but not a traveler sword. Rusty Claymore, a chest. Oh, what's in here? We have, oh, times 10 arrows. Exactly what I was looking for, awesome. And then we can use something heavy that I don't really need too much of, like the Knight's Claymore. To bust this stuff, get a couple more things. So while I'm making progress, you know, it could be better. What? What is in the grass over there? Something's moving around in a sneaky way. You see this? What? Why was the arrow running away from me? That was weird. What was that about? Something tried to steal my arrow. 
I'm rather freaked out now. That was that was bizarre. Okay, we got a bunch. Oh yeah, this is where all the keys are. Okay, so we'll go ahead and try to toss this like that. Whoa, okay, that's a lot of them. That's a whole bun bunch. Oh, this will be a great way to farm this stuff up. Oh, this will be perfect. Okay, so I got that. I wish there was like a skeleton helmet I could wear to fool you guys. That'd also be good. Okay, so I don't really need too much of that. Ready? Yeah, not bad, not bad. And then slice and dice. So I got a bulk of one arm. I didn't really need that part. I just wanted these, the fangs and stuff. And what is this? Key swing, yeah, okay. Exactly what I was looking for. So I don't know if I've ever gone up this little fort. Let's try this out. Might be a good idea. Might be nothing. Oh, hey. Okay, we got uh, explosive barrels. Don't exactly need them. Oh yeah, there's these guys attacking the thing. Whoa, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Whoops. I mean, I can climb up this. I, I definitely have in the past. I mean, I don't know if it's something like not worth grabbing, seeing how I haven't grabbed it. We're gonna find out. Amber, hey, I'll take it. Okay, so let's go ahead and, whoa! <laughs> oh my gosh, that was funny. Okay, my vocal blunt arm is badly damaged, so you can have it, don't worry. My gift to you. So I'm really not finding too much of what I was looking for, which is unfortunate. But that's okay, because I'm having a good time just adventuring around. So we'll try to get a couple more, you know, bad guys beat us so we can get more monster materials. But that's probably where I'll finish it off. We've at least made some good progress. I'll try to continue it in the next episode. You guys can let me know if you want where I can find a traveler sword where you guys have found one. Um, and we'll try to get to that and see how things go. But for now, I'm gonna poke around here real quick to see what I might be able to find. It might be a whole bunch of nothing. This outpost ruins. Might just not be very useful at all. I don't know until I poke around a little bit, so. Like you see all these like different rusty weapons, like the rusty halberd, which is better than this, which I don't need this at all. And you have like some swords, but they're not the swords I'm looking for. And that's the tough part. Okay, let's go ahead and get the uh, Knight's Claymore back out and bust all this stuff open. Nice, we get one arrow out of all of that and an acorn and Oh, here come more keys. Will they notice me? Another arrow, come on, give me that arrow before it falls under. Hey, buddies. Did you see me? Come on, come over here. I think they're turning around. I hope they're turning around. Here they come, here they come, here they come. Ready, throw, boom. That got a good couple of them. Ooh, like 10 of them. Oh, but most of them didn't drop nothing. Okay, these guys did though. The ones on like the outskirts of the, the group didn't really drop much. But at least some of them did. Okay, I see some like shields and stuff. I don't really need that too much. Oh, it's starting to rain, so it's gonna be harder to climb things. All right then, well, we explored some stuff. We had a good time. We got all this cool gear as well, which is awesome. But I think that might be where we wrap it up for today's episode. Let's see if we can't uh, get these guys one more time. Yep, just like this is perfect, perfect. No, oh, maybe not quite. Ow, oh, okay. Well, I think that's a perfect reason to finish up for today's episode. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. If you want to support the video, make sure you comment Zebra Mask so I know you've watched the end and that you are a Zebra Tazzy viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, hold on, let me get rid of this guy. And then, we'll, I don't know, there's so many interruptions all the time. Jeez. Hold on, don't you dare disappear. Don't you dare. Got him. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.